hello guys welcome to the another video so in this video uh, we are going to talk about another infosys selenium interview question of 2023 so recently one of my student appeared in referral of infosys uh, autom uh, automation or you can say manual testing interview manual plus automation interview so he has shared all those uh, questions with me like what all things uh, been asked in that interview so uh, let's get started with uh, our questions The first question is a uh, brief descrip uh, description about uh, your roles and responsibility. The basic question that interviewer used to ask. Next is how will you rate yourself in Selenium? Maybe he can ask you in Java. Out of ten, out of five. So if you are good at it, uh, I would suggest uh, rate eight or uh, seven or eight because if you are unable to answer. I mean, if you are saying that you have, uh, you are rating yourself uh, nine out of ten, and you are unable to answer the question, it will give you some negative impact. So it would be better that you can rate less, but you can answer all his questions. So that would definitely give a thumbs up to uh, the uh, interviewer that uh, you are a decent candidate for this post or for this opening. So this is how I mean you have to play with the interview that you need to rate less and express more, give the detail more, and uh, answer question in correct way. Next is what is SIDE? It stands for have you used it or not? So basically SIDE is Selenium IDE that uh, is available as a Chrome extension. So uh, this is used for record and playback purpose. So this plugin is still uh, or this Chrome extension is still available. You can uh, go and download the Selenium IDE and uh, this is the record and play. You can record your script and play. But uh, this record and playback only works when your application is static. There is uh, no change in the application. UI is not getting changed. No deployment is going on. So for that static type of application, you can record and playback. But for normal application or uh, where things keep on changes changing so in this case your locator your x path and uh, elements uh, usually changes a lot so that's why uh, I mean, recording and playback will not uh, work in that case next is how will you handle pop-ups so he can ask you like uh, what is the window and uh, what is pop-up so do not get uh, confused with the statement that window and pop-up if he want to, uh, if he want uh, you to explain about alert, then he will mention that. Otherwise, pop up is something like window. People used to call it window sometimes pop ups. Which frameworks you are using in your project and why? Explain why you are using that framework. What is the need of that? What are you solving by using this framework? Why you choose that? I mean, this question. I mean, why you choose that is uh, basically for a uh, seven to eight year or eight plus years experience guy who is leading a team so interviewer want to know like uh, if we have a problem or we have a new project and we want to implement a new framework so are you capable enough to choose a framework on the basis of the requirement we have because sometimes a lot of data uh, we have in our application at that time which framework you will choose data driven or some other framework if we have apis then how you build your framework to test the api to to verify the response and all those things so uh, and what all the the things suppose uh, our application contains a lot of ui pages and there you need to compare ui pages before and after at that time obviously visual testing will help us so sometimes uh, there are tools that is available like playwright or uh, some other tools where we can compare the uh, visuals and uh, eggplant is one of the tool which we can use uh, to compare this the uh, web page or images so you can explain like uh, this is why if this is the requirement then i will choose this uh, let's take an example like right now our and my organization most of the apps are building or uh, in flutter so we are trying to use uh, we are going to use flutter driver 
instead of android driver because the compatibility thing maybe i mean we are doing the pocs uh, now if we are able to get the the idea about why flutter is uh, how flutter driver is going to help us so this is how we can use next is how will you handle javascript popups after that how will you handle ssl ssl can be handled at the time when you are declaring the driver how will you take a screenshot using the take a screenshot interface how will you handle ajax and explain in code next is explain your framework what is stlc test plan defect life cycle and uh, a defect of bug life cycle so let me remind you like what is the difference between defect and bug when qa is something that is called bug when developer accept it it called defect you can relate when developer it defect d and d when developer is saying or developer confirming okay this bug is confirmed so now we can call it defect okay traceability matrix so requirement traceability matrix where we can track the requirement and check whether all those test cases within this requirement is is available in our test suite and there is one more uh, term is reverse uh, traceability matrix reverse requirement traceability matrix where we can track this test case belongs to which requirement so this traceability used for uh, uh, tracking or tracing the the test cases within the functionality are written correctly or all the corner or uh, all cases cases test cases are written for that functionality selenium grid concept with code if you haven't used selenium grid you can just answer no do not try to explain when you do not know so selenium grid basically use when we want to run our application on multiple browsers and we in selenium grid we will have a hub and node hub used to establish the connections and uh, where we can run our test node is something where we can have the, the browsers like uh, chrome browser ie firefox opera or something like that. your project description so basically if the interview is all about automation you need to explain each and everything around the automation you need to first understand the jd whether this hiring is for automation plus manual or only automation in automation plus manual you can explain like i used to write test cases and then write the test script for those in case of uh, uh, automation you can explain i used to get the test cases from the manual team and then used to i am solely working on automation only i used to manage automation update automation and all those things you can explain difference between implicit and explicit weight use of that what all errors we are getting when to stop testing okay this question is very um, scenario is when to stop testing so there are a couple of things we need to keep in our mind that uh, at what time we need to stop the testing so basically in software testing there are two terms or two things that we need to keep in our mind first is cost second is so uh, these two terms are cost and time so basically when to stop when somebody ask you when to stop testing so it mean to say you need to uh, check like whether the time that is given to us for testing is been completed or what was what is the time to complete the testing because if we start writing test cases for any module we can write n number of test cases but what are how many test cases are of highest priority we need to identify and then we need to execute them so when ever we have this question when to stop testing it mean to say when our test cases or high priority test cases executed there is no major issue or major defect is still there some trivial issue can be we can live with that or we can uh, defer those uh, trivial type issues when uh, expected time to test the application has been completed and so this is uh, when we uh, we can think about to stop testing the application next is thread synchronization in java 
so basically this term synchronization is when ever you are accessing one resource and second person is also accessing that resource it become a deadlock condition so for handling though that's that type of condition we need that call synchronization so let's take an example suppose you have an excel and you and your your colleague both are accessing that same excel and editing at the same time so if you try to access or edit it might be blocked by you the cell might be blocked by you so, and your colleague will not able to edit that particular tile or cell of that excel so this is called race condition where one resource is trying to access uh, that and second resource is in waiting so how we can manage that this is called synchronization so in java we can use synchronize keyword for that method and we can use that so there are a couple of things that we can use in synchronization but the gist is or the important thing is you know the synchronization and you know how to handle it maybe i mean if you haven't implemented that or you haven't faced anything then there is a separate thing but you should know about it what is synchronization next is can we create a constructor as private so whenever we want to create a constructor as a private what do we mean by this constructor is basically used to create the object or whenever the object is created constructor is been called if we keep our constructor private and we are trying to create the object from the other class then how this will help us next is can we override private method very good question you can try this uh, i mean over writing the private method very good question so if we are keeping one method private and we are overriding it what do we mean by this private belongs to the same class and we if we override it it mean to say we write the same method in different class then it belongs to the different class method private belongs to class a and the over right overridden method of this method in class b is another method these are two independent method because they are private if they are public then obviously we can override it so just check it whether we can able to do that program to count the occurrence of a specific word in a sentence next is make expat for locating particular column in dynamic web table i have seen multiple questions i mean people used to ask or interview used to ask question about finding the x path in a web table so when somebody asks you web table it mean to say anything like uh, let me open in between if uh, I'll, I'll i'll tell you like how, what is what do we mean by web table so it is something like like you have multiple tabs on the page and you mouse over you'll get something you click on this some table is getting displayed where we get the number of records rows and all those things you need to find the particular cell uh, so this is called web table and we need to find the dynamic element in that next is how to uh, double click on element obviously using actions class how to switch uh, from the fifth frame to fourth frame in cause all are nested so these so this question is about nested frame one frame to another frame to another frame to another frame to another frame. so if you have reached to the fifth frame you need to go back to fourth frame so how will you handle it so basically we used to keep the the previous or the parent uh, frame with us then we can switch back to that validate the color of the progress bar obviously get css property is uh, thing that we can use to get any css value it whenever it become green and before that it becomes orange so so if progress bar color is keep on changing then you need to get the css property how will you validate that green color has appeared again css related thing how to click on the last element always for the dynamic drop down so you need to select the last element if you have uh, and an element in drop down you need to find the or you need to click on the last element which element change along with the position and their count changes so next question is suppose i have three classes a b c where c extend b b extend a 
so we can call constructor a from c by writing like super this is correct very good question just try it at your end and if you got the answer just comment on the comment section so this is all about it if you uh, have any question please ping on us ping on the channel thank you for watching have a nice day